Hey everyone, so the first thing I'm doing today, as always, is priming the eye area and I'm using the Eye Heart Stage Eyeshadow Base by Essence. I applied it to the back of my hand, dabbed my brush in the product and now I'm sweeping it over the eye area and this method just prevents me from over applying the base. Once I've that in place, I'm picking up some of my collection pressed powder on a fluffy blending brush and I'm dusting this anywhere that I applied the base to set the product in place to make sure it lasts all day long. My eyeshadow palette today is from a brand called Obsession which is new to me. It's cruelty free, vegan and really affordable so I said I'd give it a whirl. I'm starting out by taking the shade Covet on my fluffy blending brush and I'm starting by tapping the shadow down on the outer third of my eyelid. Then I'm going to wriggle my brush back and forth and sweep it into the crease just to blend out that shadow across into the crease and using a colour like this in the crease first is always a good idea regardless of what colour scheme you're going with. I just find it's a good transition shade and although it's not seen in the finished look it does have a purpose in the sense that it helps the other shadows that I apply in a minute blend that little bit easier. Sticking with that shadow now but switching to a smaller brush I'm sweeping it down along the lower lash line and then I'm going back in with my fluffy blending brush and lightly buffing around the edges to make sure they're nice and soft. Next then I'm using a slightly smaller blending brush to pick up the shade Desire and then I'm taking this into the crease and also down on the inner and outer corners of the eye. There's a little bit of fallout from this shade which is why I've started by taking the tiniest amount of shadow and applying that. I'm adding it in a few light layers to build up the intensity. It does take a little longer to do but it makes the blending process easier and if you have your foundation done like me it saves you the hassle of cleaning up fallout when you're done. Once again then I'm sweeping that shadow down along the lower lash line with my bullet shaped brush. And staying within that colour family, I'm taking the shade Lover and I'm adding this into the crease as well and down on that inner and outer corner. These shadows aren't too dissimilar but applying them helps to add some depth to the look. And you know the drill by now, what we do to the top we do to the bottom so I'm fading that shade down along the lower lash line. Next I'm taking one of my favourite affordable concealers, the Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer and I'm adding this in the centre of the lid. So I'm dabbing this in that area to brighten it but to also carve out the crease a little and it doesn't have to be perfect at this point because we will be coming back to it. So I've just used the shape of the applicator to the majority of the work but I find I can tend to over apply the concealer so I'm just using a synthetic brush to soak up that excess product and to blend out the edges. Now I'm going in with the matte black eyeshadow on a pencil brush and this is where the look really transforms I think. I love how black completely changes up a look, I struggle to do a look without it. I'm very carefully now patting this shadow on the inner and outer corners of the eye. It's very easy to over apply black and then it just makes it really difficult to blend and fade it out so I'm using a touch at a time. Once I have applied it to the inner and outer corners, I'm connecting that shadow in the crease and to really define that crease line, I'm using an angled brush and then once I've got that carved out, I'm going back in and blending with my pencil brush. So now I've just taken a little more of the shade Desire that we used earlier on and I'm reapplying this over the very edge of that black so I'm overlapping the two just to help fade the two shadows into one another. Once then that I've finished applying the purple, I'm going back in with the black and reapplying that and it can be a bit of a tedious process going back and forth between the two shadows but it makes a big difference and the end result is really worth it in my opinion. Now I'm going back in with my angled brush and I'm packing that black eyeshadow down along the lower lash line. The angled brush helps me to get right into those lashes and then I'm using my pencil brush just to fade out the shadow. Again, like before, I'm going back in with that purple eyeshadow and fading it down into the black. After applying that black eyeshadow, the centre of the lid just got a little bit messy, so I'm reapplying the concealer just to brighten up that area. Next then, I'm going in with the shade Energy, and this is a metallic purple, and I'm using a pencil brush just to pat this down either side of that centre part and I'm using the width of my brush as a guide as to where to apply the shadow so I'm applying it a width of the brush wide. Now I'm taking that brush that I used to fade out the concealer and I'm just tapping over the purple that I applied just to help blend it out a little bit. Next then I'm taking the shade Future on a small flat brush and I'm applying this right underneath that crease line and I'm making sure to really pack this colour on because I really want it to sparkle. 
Then I'm taking the shade Target and I'm adding this colour at the opposite end, so right at that lash line. And I just wanted to use as many colours as I could from this palette to really get a feel for the, how the shadows perform. So now I'm going back to that future shade and I'm blending it down towards the golden colour. And then to line my waterline I'm using the number 7 Stay Perfect Eye Pencil in the shade black. And to set that liner in place to make sure that it doesn't budge throughout the day. And just to intensify that black a bit further I'm packing on some of the black eyeshadow that I used previously, the Makeup Academy one. For lashes I'm using these dramatic ones from KISS, it's one of my favourite lash brands and they're available in the chemist so are very affordable. Once I have those in place then I'm using some mascara to blend my own lashes in with the false ones and the essence mascaras as well, you can't go wrong with you don't need to spend a fortune on mascara. But then that's it, so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, found it helpful and I'll chat to you all soon.